depressed dude. A Billy cunt exclamation point. I've been listening. To, I've been listening to your podcast for years. Your deranged psychopathic perspective reminds me I'm not the only one shaking ladders. I don't know what that means. Is this guy from Boston? I've been listening to the podcast for years. Your deranged psychopathic perspective reminds me I'm not the only one shaking ladders, kid. Nah, it still doesn't sound, even if in the accent. Shaking ladders. I don't know what that means. Anyways, I got a problem. You know, I was in Boston all last week, so the the Boston accent kind of came back. The whole, uh, you know, I got a problem. Instead of saying, uh, get a job, get a job. Do it easy, get a job. And for those of you working on your Boston accents, J-O-B, just say like jaw, like I'm going to punch you in the jaw, and then B, job. Got to get a fucking job. You know what kills me right now is like fucking 200 of you right now, just muttering to yourself, get a fucking job. In your cubicle. Um, <laughs> freaking out your coworkers, just mumbling. Get a fucking job. You fucking cocksucker. Um, I got a problem. For years now, I've been trapped in my KFC and wet wipes. Okay, that's disgusting. I used to be a bodybuilder, an actor, and a comedian with fucking prospects right in front of me. But then adulthood raped me in the eyes. Oh, Jesus. Could you be more dramatic? It sounds like that fucking chick from uh, Sex in the City. Uh, crazy broad broke my heart. I had, this is the guy again. Crazy broad broke my heart. I had to cut away old friends and family shutting me out of their smiles. All right, dude, this is like getting creepier with each sentence. If you don't bring this around in like two sentences, I'm going to abandon this. I had to cut away from old friends and family shutting me out of their smiles. Dude, what did you do that your friends and family decided they didn't want to be around you? Uh, anyways, I don't feel sorry for myself or want any pity. Uh, I just, you're not going to get any. So good. I'm glad you don't. He goes, I just want to know how to get out of this never ending routine of demise. Well, first of all, I would stop using those goth death metal words. You know, demise. What else you got in here? Adult raped me in the eyes. Are you, these are like song lyrics. You know? Depressed dude. What would be the name of this? Trapped in my KFC and wet wipes. Right? It sounds like I can't sing like that. <coughs> Rape me in the eyes. This routine of demise. All these fucking kids getting like whip, fucking whiplash. Um, I worked too much in a job that was supposed to pay for co my comedy career when I don't work. I, uh, I was supposed to pay for my comedy career when I when I don't work. Uh, I sleep or oh when I don't work I sleep or watch endless DVDs. I'm 24 years old. Oh, what the fuck? This reads like you're 56, dude. He goes, I'm tired all the time from all the hating of the world, and my body just won't listen to the screaming frustration in my soul. Dude, you listen to like you listen to progressive metal. I'm guessing by the words you use here. Uh, either that you play Dungeons and Dragons. I'm really not helping your depression by shitting on you through all of this. Um, don't worry. I'm going to give you some sunshine here in the end here. So I, I sometimes get a spark of motivation to get back in shape and, to, and start writing script, but it only lasts for a day or two at the most. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then the work comes, and you have to keep going. And that's what separates the people in life who fucking work and, and make it and those who don't, you know? Everything's fun for a couple of fucking days. I'm going to get shredded. I'm going to join a boxing gym. I'm going to look like I'm going to fight in a title fight. You go down there, you skip rope. I'm going to get abs. You're doing all the fucking shit. And two days in, you know, after two days, you, you, you get tired. All right? And that's where you need the discipline to get up and go over there even though you don't want to. You know? People who've written Oscar-winning scripts, I bet they don't like fucking doing it on, on a certain level. But they keep going. So... I would just tell you to keep fucking going. Anyways, let me read the rest of this dr overly dramatic shit. I've lost all faith in the world, have nothing to fight for anymore. I respect your go fuck yourself attitude and want and want to know what you did to finally pick yourself up from your dark inflicted depression. Uh, sorry, it's not the funniest emails, but I could really do with you. Guys. I know, dude, I'm fucking with you. I know you're going through some shit. So uh, here we go. going to help you out here. Uh, first thing I would do, get rid of the KFC and wet wipes. All right. 
If you're already kind of a depressed dude, if you eat bad food, that's just going to add. Because I'm just speaking personally. Once again, not a licensed guy here in case you throw yourself off the fucking roof. All right? Um, yeah, number one. This is what I do. Go, go out and get something healthy to eat. You know, drink some water. Okay? Get eight hours sleep. Wake up and eat something healthy. Then go to the grocery store when you're full and go buy a bunch of healthy shit. Okay, chop up the veggies, chop up the lettuce, get a fucking salad already made in there so you don't have to think about it. All right, cook up some fucking chicken, chop that shit up, make some chicken salad. You got that in there too. Get yourself some fucking lunch meat and get yourself some real bread from a fucking bakery. Start with that bullshit. You start eating right and then just start working out. You're automatically going to feel good about yourself and fucking stick with that. As far as that other shit goes, dude, you're 24 years old. All right. I started comedy when I was 24. You sound like you've already been doing it and quit. So you're ahead of where where I was at at your age. So there's no reason to be depressed. All right. Um, This is how I got beyond my depression was I just started observing it. I looked at it as a spectator rather than feeling a thought and just accepting it and then being dragged to the bottom of the fucking ocean with it. I just started to pay attention. I just sat there and listened to what my brain was telling me. And it was a bunch of negative, oh, my God, I'm going to fail. I'm going to have to go back moving with my parents, and they're going to die. I'm not going to be able to afford to pay for the house, and then I'm going to be homeless, and then I'm just going to die. And, uh, you know, nothing's ever going to work out for me, you know? Those were like the thoughts I was having. So I just sat back and observed them, and I just started going, I, I don't want to think that. I want to think that. And I would just... As I felt them coming, I would just replace it with like a positive thought. I know this is really corny and simple, but I kind of started doing that. And the more I did that, because it didn't quite work. I think it actually didn't work in the beginning at all. But like I just kept doing it more and more. And then I just became conscious of when my brain was going in that direction. And um, working out helps me. Eating right helps me. Going down to a comedy club telling jokes helps me out. Playing drums. Wrestling with my dog. You know, taking Nia out to dinner, just go do something like it's just a choice. You know, July 30th, it's only going to happen once. Am I going to fucking be a miserable cunt on this? Or like I said, July 30th, 2012 is only going to happen once. It's just it's just a fucking choice, dude. So, you know, if, if what you're dealing with is clinical, then it's obviously way beyond me. So I don't need, you know, and then I have to fucking apologize like Fred Willard. Um, I'm sorry that you didn't go to a psychiatrist and you went to a hacky comedian instead. Evidently, that's my fault. 